It's an epic battle, a never-ending one perhaps, to cut down on those utility bills. And we know certain things use a lot of energy. You could have a small floodlight that might use 75 or 150 watts, but if it's not on very long, it doesn't use much. Okay. But if you have a, you know, something even larger, like a 5,000 watt heater on a dryer, it runs one hour, that's five kilowatt hours. So that's something that you would want to run less time? Yes, if you can. But sometimes it's the little things that can make a big difference. So this little meter, called a kilowatt electricity usage monitor, could help you assess just exactly how much energy each of your appliances is sucking up. Let's go plug it into something okay, and see go. what it uses. All you do is plug it into the appliance, and the watts used is displayed on the screen. Everything from LED lights. Just three watts, it's just this basket. To your washing machine. Here we go, it's going into. What's really interesting is seeing that even if they're not turned on, things like your computer are using energy simply by being plugged in. See what we're using now, everything's off, but we're still drawing five watts. Oh. Well, Seems five silly. watts, well, how many, how many times five is around the house? Yeah. You know, two watts, five watts. Pretty soon you got like a 60 watt bulb on all the time maybe, right. or a 120 watt bulb, 150 watt bulb. If you saw that on and glowing out of the garage because of a floodlight, you go, well, what's that doing on during the day? I don't want that. So sure, this meter works, and it's a helpful tool in the war against high utility bills, but then again, so is a tool like Steve. I mean, he has a walking energy consumption chart. Oh gosh, we've got a whole chart down here. We ought to take a look at that. Speaking of which. I think it's a, a real good, fun experiment. It's helped to, to educate yourself on what's consuming power. It'll verify the appliance chart that I created for customers to be able to use. And that is available online at csu.org oh. if people want to go download that. So if you don't have a Steve or a chart like this one, this kilowatt meter is a top-notch product in determining what appliances to keep and which ones to kill.